everyone feels a bit lost sometimes, said the mole. I know I do. And so they're just sort of walking into the forest there. I know what a home looks like, said the mole. Do you? Yes, it has walls, a roof, a bell above the door, and cakes in the window. I think that's a cake shop, said the boy. Oh, is that not a type of home? You can't live in a cake shop. Well, they I could. why ever not? <laughs> what, Lee, go on. I could. <laughs> you could, yeah. Sure, a lot of us could. Um, I think home is where warm and kind... Uh, sorry, I think home is where somewhere warm and kind with lights. Oh, said the mole. So they're just in the woods and they see the horse. Hello. Hello. Have you been here a while? Asked the boy. It feels that way, said the horse. Are you lost? No. We are, said the mole, but we have a plan. He's talking to the horse there. Ooh, the snow on the trees. It really does look just like icing, said the mole. You're obsessed. So he's just enjoying the scene there. Doing nothing with friends is never doing nothing, is it, said the boy. No, replied the mole. And they're just having a little play. Yes, so time of friends. I am so small, said the mole. Yes, replied the boy. But you make a huge difference. So what are we doing? Asked the horse. We're on a quest for cake, replied the mole. Are you now? No, not really. We're following the river to find our home. How far is it? We don't know, said the boy. Well, let's get going then. And so they're going with the horse and the fox is following behind. How fast can you run? Asked the boy. Well, said the mole. I wouldn't say I was a natural athlete, but I did once win a digging competition. I i don't mean you. Oh, I see, said the mole. So he's talking to the horse, I think. Oh, golly, said the mole. So the horse is starting to, to run. And he starts to run. And guess what's happened? The boy's starting to fall off the horse. Oh, no. You fell. But I've got you, said the horse. Sorry, said the boy. It was an accident, said the mole. It's my fault. I let go, said the boy. Oh, gosh, sorry, sorry. Ah, now, said the horse. Tears fall for a reason, and they are your strength, not weakness. So have we got anything from that? Where it's fallen from the horse, and then the tears fall. I just, that line, I just love that line. Tears fall for a reason, and they are strength. They are your strength, not weakness. What do you make of that? Is there anything that comes up for you? I think it's okay to... to to feel and express emotion when you need to right there's huge huge waves around mental health especially men's mental health these days and that it's okay to feel things and it's okay to, to need to process them or, or be upset about them and, and and i assume that applies i assume that's that's kind of what we're getting at we're kind of kind of saying here that it it's not the end of the world and sometimes you just need to take that five minutes and then dust yourself off try and go again or, or pick yourself up or or formulate a plan on picking yourself up. You know, it doesn't have, things don't have to be huge, gigantic steps. As long as you take a small step, then that's progress, right? You're absolutely right, Ryan. This is about vulnerability, isn't it? I think, you know, like you said, Ryan, I think you're absolutely right. You know, when I suffer my mental health, and I did say I want to sort of maybe focus the podcast, well, for me, from my point, when I'm doing these things, like focus a little bit more on mental health, because that's one thing I've actually gone, gone through and come out the other side. And one of the things was about mental health is that you, back in the day, we couldn't really talk about it. You know, it was growing up with stiff up a lip, pull your socks up, all that. And now, you know, I, I do actually cry and I let the emotions out. And um, my wife sometimes says, oh, you're crying again. But I literally am okay with feeling that emotion. Because literally, I almost wear my emotion, when, when I'm like watching a film or something, like, or, or I get a response to it, I will actually let out. I used to try and suppress it, but now I let that emotion flow. And that's my vulnerability. But like it says, you know, by me doing that and feeling those emotions, is actually a strength. Being able to process my emotions is a strength. It's now a strength rather than, you know, perceiving as anything that's weak. And being able to speak to you about actually, you know, sometimes I do feel tearful. You know, that is okay. And I will tell people that, you know, depending on what the situation is. Even last night when I was watching the television, James Arthur, I don't know if you know James Arthur. I don't know. He's the guy who won X Factor. There was a oh, show. I like, know he won X Factor, but I, I know who he is. He won X Factor, and I had known that he suffered with mental health, and he was actually on a program last night, and I didn't know this, and he actually gave up his music and was on the edge because of mental health. 
um, and he felt he couldn't express his emotions and things like that. He was suppressing it. And so it shows that, you know, there was a lot out there, like Ryan says, I think you hit the nail on the head, that for, for us guys, there's still that element of, hey, you know, stiff up a little, you know, you're a guy, you know. And I think we need to break those down. And of course, we can be strong, but we, you know, we can have moments where we're vulnerable. And I think vulnerability is a strength. And so, yeah, so Ryan, thanks for that. I really think that was a really good shout. But I say, I was, I was mate, actually, you, you just reminded me of that James Arthur thing because I was, you know, watching the Harry thing and I switched over. And then James Arthur, I was caught hooked on it because it was just such a powerful thing. And now he's getting through it. And it shows that we can all, we can come through it. And I think, Ryan, that's what you're alluding to, right? You can, you know, if you just hold on in there, you know, you've got good friends around you and just keep moving. You can get through it, but not to underestimate that it's a feeling and, and you know, it feels dark sometimes, but you will get through it. If you just, just do those small things, like you said, you know, get up, you know, even getting up in the morning can be the, the win, right? Just getting up and brushing your teeth. That could be the win for your day. So just keep moving forward. Just keep, keep doing it and you will eventually get there. 